All right, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Hanging Out with Ninja. Uh, today, I'm going to show you. Let me get my stones. Uh, we're gonna start working on the hall. So I'm gonna show you the basic layout. I still haven't done anything with that. I will. Uh, I'll get working on it. I just want to get these villagers moved. So. I'm growing trees and getting everything ready for what we're working on today. I want to show you the basic layout um, of what I have in mind for this thing. And I think it's going to work out pretty good. I've got some uh, design ideas. Like I said, I planned this out in Creative World. Um, so, should be looking good. Get myself way down here. This is going to be pretty high, pretty high. But this will be the hall that will uh, hold all of our villagers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one side built for you guys, just to show you what it's going to look like. And then I will come back and, uh, yeah, let you see what it looks like. So we'll see you in a minute. All right, welcome back. So here's what we got so far. So this is the first wall. Uh, there'll obviously be other things added to it, but I just kind of want to give you a general idea. You got your stone bricks and your spruce logs. Um, and you got this one offset by one to give it a little bit of depth. Uh, <clears throat> we'll get some windows added in there and then uh, you'll have a, a little bit of decoration along the roof there. I'll show you how that's going to turn out. But just wanted to give you a general idea. Um, yeah, this is a big building. It's going to be three floors. And the entrance will be over here, right here. Double doors. Double uh, spruce doors right here. And then you'll come in. There'll be a staircase somewhere over here. You'll go up to one level. And then you'll have another staircase going up to another level. The top level will be the breeding for the villagers. And then the first two levels will be them at their workstations. So this will give us all different types of villagers to trade with, and uh, yeah, it's going to look pretty nice. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, finish the exterior, finish all these walls, and then I'll come back, show you how it looks, and as well as put a floor in um, so we can start getting the general idea of how things are going to look. So I will be back. Okay, welcome back. I'm pretty much done. I just wanted to bring you guys in and show you how it's looking. Um, nice big building. It's got these uh, pillars out front. So that'll have a little offset inside too, but that actually get covered up by the rooms. So you can kind of get an idea. There'll be four rooms. So two from this pillar over, two from this pillar over. Then we'll get the doors on and the windows going. Just give you a general idea. I'm going to start getting these trees out of the way here so we can uh, really get a good idea because obviously they're right in the way. So just wanted to show you what I got going on there. I'm going to cut down some more of uh, these trees so I can get some more spruce. Uh, we'll get the top finished and then we'll get onto the flooring. I will be back. All right, welcome back guys. So now we're ready to <clears throat> put in the floor here. So I'm gonna show you what I got. Uh, let's jump down, be easier. I'm gonna do some oak half slabs. We'll do the doors here later, but I just wanna get this going. Do some oak half slabs in here for the floor with some spruce walls. And uh, I think it's going to look pretty nice. I like the way it turned out before when I did this in my creative world. When I came up with this build, you won't see where that grass, you won't see this. It's going to get covered with a spruce block. That's just for uh, eye pleasing on the outside, we'll say. So, I don't have to worry about it on the inside. It actually lines up perfect. <clears throat> for breaking off the rooms. So that's a good little marker. 
because the room will come out this far and then you'll have uh, two rooms in there. We'll get to that soon. <coughs> we are just going to do this part first. Oops. So this obviously is a bigger build, but like I said, I planned this out, so it should turn out pretty nice, I think. And like I said, even even though I planned it out, I still got even more ideas from uh, a couple buddies of mine. We were talking yesterday when I showed them the other ugly build of my item sorter. So with their ideas in mind, this should come out pretty good. But it's just all part of the learning process of how to build on here. Got to learn, got to see what other people do, try out some of your own stuff, just combine it all together and it'll make for a good build. And then of course the roof will be, or the second floor will be out of this as well. So we're going to need lots of oak. But two good things about slabs, mobs can't spawn on them, and you save materials. You get a little more versus just doing oak planks. So that's always nice if you're looking to save on materials. But we have plenty of oak, so it's not a problem. There's my floating bed. So we'll get this floor in. Um, and then we'll do the upper floor. Uh, and then I'll put in the spruce walls and then I'll put in the windows. That way I'll know exactly where the windows need to go. But I thought I'd show you guys a little bit of building here rather than just keep coming back and forth with different cuts. Everything's done when you come back. It's always nice to see someone build some stuff. I like it anyways, hope you guys do too. Even though this isn't anything spectacular. <clears throat> uh, we need more. But yeah, this will turn out this will turn out pretty good. I'm excited for it. And then we'll get the villagers over here. We can start the uh, villager breeding process. Like I said, we'll have that in the upper level. It'll just be a bonus because there's space in there. I was originally wondering if I, I don't know, I was thinking about figuring out a way to leave it where it is, but it's just too hard. That space, it's right in the way. So we'll get them out of there and get that back to maybe the tree farm somehow. We'll make it look better. I'll figure something out with it. I definitely need a tree farm though. You need all the, excuse me, you need all that wood. You'd be growing trees constantly. I've been breeding my cows like nuts so I can get enough item frames. I'm also going to put signs up in the back where you deposit your items. That way I know everything that's in the, uh, that should go in that specific chest because in the back where your input is, you have to remember where everything is, what items would go in that chest because it's not all one fluid system. Uh, I could have made it all one fluid system, but again, I was having issues with having multiple chests connected to one system for uh, like dirt and cobblestone. So that's why I split the systems up. But I hear there's even a more advanced item sorter, so I might be changing. We'll see. <clears throat> it's not 100% sure, but I'm going to check it out. And I'm a. Uh, Um, <clears throat> probably be doing a multiplayer. I tried to do one last night. I had a few issues with my server. It's just a free server, nothing fancy. The system was down though. Uh, me and another guy were trying to do some stuff. 
but maybe we'll get to try it again today. We'll see. It'd just be really good to to do multiplayer. I think adds a new aspect. Okay. So now, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I gotta remember how I did this. Oh man, come on now. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. So I go like that, one, two, three, four. Um, yeah, then your next level will go up there. So that's fine. So this will be our level for our next level. So let's add on a couple more. Let's get this going. Keep it on the top. So yeah, here's where the second level will be. All right, well, I'm going to get this part done. I don't think you guys want to see me lay out another floor. So I'll get this part done, and then I'll come back when this level's done and show you how we do the rooms. Okay, everyone, welcome back. So we're just about done here with this upper level. Uh, the floor for it. I had to go cut down a bunch of trees and do my thing. But this is just about done. So what we'll do next is we'll grab some spruce. And I'll show you my basic design or layout, if you will, for the, oops, excuse me, for the rooms. How to make them look. Oh, I'm going to make them look. Come on now. Apparently, I don't know how to do this. Oh, let's put that one in before we go. Wake me up before you go, go. Okay. This should be the front. We can go get our spruce. Yeah, so you still got trees growing. Um, don't need you, 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 you. All right, so let's go spruce it up. Get it? Okay. So now, right? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So you get two rooms like this. <clears throat> so there'll be a room with a villager, room with a villager. And then uh, <clears throat> space for the door, the hall. Two door. See what I'm saying? The wall is going to go up here, so that doesn't even matter. <clears throat> so that's your basic uh, basic design, all the way to the half slab ceiling. Shouldn't have got rid of that, dang it. That'll be a. F I'll put another half slab up there. Forgot about that part. But you get the gist. Sleep real quick. Good. And then we'll put oak doors on them. We'll go with the oak so you can see through. We'll also do a window. Um, we will do a window. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. 
so let's get that little slabby slab that I forgot about taken care of. something huh dark as heck in here though that's all right door yes I'll probably put a window in each side of the door no I'll put a window in right here yeah right here I'll put a window in just so we can see what the villagers doing. Or you might be able to just leave this open. Actually, what am I saying? We can't put doors in. Yeah, if someone was thinking that. They'll just open the door and go out. One thing I did think though is no, because I gotta come in and out. We could just do that. They're not going to just have a window. Not a window, just an open space just so you can trade with them. Oh, I'll figure that out. Um, let me go. Let's get some light going in here. So for the light, I don't remember how to make it and I should. I'm sorry. The old lantern. Let's put campfires in there. That's right, iron ingots. All right, so. Uh, that's eight, so that's one floor. That's seven. What? Math is hard. Seven. Nine, eighteen. Oops. Come on, torch. There's ten. That's fine. Okay. So now we'll go light this up. Might use some glowstone or something in here too. I don't know yet. Of course, I blocked my way in, so... Hey, half slab. Someone knew that. I was saying it out loud. Yelling at the screen. There you go. Little light. Okay. There we go. So now you're starting to see what this is going to be like. Oh. One, two. All right, yes, sir. Get in the right spot. Cash, dang it. Yeah, I'm in the right spot. So, yeah, this will be your little room, and I think you can use trap doors, and they can't open the trap door. <clears throat> So I could possibly use trap doors, open the trap door, and just trade with them that way. <clears throat> New window there. I don't know. I'll play around with it. <clears throat> so let's get this side laid out. Wall. Opening. Well, we don't know if that's going to be an opening. See, these line up perfectly. Great design. I actually do like this design. I will do the half slabs this time. Or slab, not half slab. Gosh. I 
wonder why people start calling these half slabs. It's a half of a plank, if anything. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, no wall goes there, so that's fine. Do 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 do. Do do do. All right. So there'll be two floors of this, like I said. Sixteen villagers with workstations. Hey, you're wrong button. And uh, then we'll have the breeding on the third floor. The third floor is going to come about because of the roof. What happened? Oh, I didn't do it. I didn't do it over here yet. I was like, what? Oh, I didn't grab enough. Dang it, let's eat an apple. See, I'm doing the inside first, obviously. And then I will get the villagers over here and then I'll do the outside. I just want it to, I want to get them out of there so bad. It's just killing me. So that's fine, that's what we'll do. Okay. And then of course I'm gonna need more spruce planks and everything. So I'm gonna build this with a door here until I figure out exactly how I wanna do that. So I don't know yet. We will figure it out though. I remembered this time. And I gotta play around with the roof a little bit. It's gonna be interesting because, again, a big building. You don't wanna. We don't want another pyramid going on. I mean, I have a. A layout of the roof but I've changed it multiple times uh, we did the window there so yeah I'll mess around with the roof off camera then once I get it figured out how I want it I'll bring you guys in and show you what I came up with but pretty easy build overall really Especially once you get it laid out. Window be on that side. Hey. Well, that ain't looking good, is it? Window go here. Window. So there you go, we'll do more lights out here. Uh, this is the basic design of the building. It's gonna be great to just be able to walk in here and trade with these villagers. They'll all have their different professions. Hopefully we'll get some good trades. I'm a little worried because I have mending on one of them and I'm going to have to move his workstation so as soon as I tear it down I'm wondering if he'll stop having the trade he has or you know if I have his new workstation already built over here if he'll just take on that form or just use that workstation and his trade won't change but we'll see One left. Woohoo. All right. 
We need the lights up. So let's get the lights up. to do this for a while so it's gonna be nice getting it done and then we'll finish off the items order room building and uh, then we can move on to other things throw in some multiplayer episodes oh I'm out of spruce all right well I'm gonna go collect more spruce sleep collect more spruce then I'll come back when I have this all built up and uh, we will go from there. All right, see you soon. And welcome back once again. So I've got all the walls up. I put some lights up. One above each door lights it up pretty well in here. Now we are going to get the right block here. Uh, we're gonna put a staircase in and I think I'm just gonna kind of center it. I think I'm gonna put it about right here. <clears throat> Make it look good. It sucks that it has to be in the middle, but oh well. The only other option really is to use the ladder, which I don't wanna do. So we'll get this going here, like so. Notch this out to here. A loggy log or spruce plank. Okay. Then what you do, a little trick that I have learned to make your stairs look a little better. over here do a little upside down action can you do the bottom one sure can so it just gives your stairs a little more depth um, you can leave them like that or you can put some fences in there and different things okay so the roof is going to go one two three four five the roof for this floor I should say <clears throat> because up here we're gonna do the same thing all the same rooms uh, the same design that we just had downstairs will follow and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that done but I just wanted to show you guys <clears throat> Kind of the design of the inside that I got going on so far. Uh, I think it's coming along pretty nice. I don't know if I'll use glowstone or not anywhere inside. I don't know if I really need to. Uh, putting those lanterns on the outer of the doors <clears throat> or of the openings. There in front of each room really, oops, really helped give us enough light. That's the word I'm trying to think of, light. So yeah, that's what we've got so far. And, <clears throat> excuse me, for the next staircase, I will probably come over here. Just go straight up like that. Um, but we'll have to figure out how that's gonna work with the, the roof. Because obviously it tapers in, so I gotta make sure I'm back far enough to uh, not interfere with that otherwise the roof won't fit so I'm gonna go ahead and tackle this next level and I will come back with you shortly all right second floor done oh except for that <clears throat> had to put some torches in there all right so this is done we got the lights up we got all the rooms made <clears throat> we'll get things ready for the villagers We'll get them over there. Um, <coughs> excuse me, jeez. All right, so next we're going to decide 
Well, we got to do a couple things. First thing we have to do is sleep. Well, we're going <clears> to <throat> get the windows in, so I need to grab the glass panes. Um, and we need to make some stone brick stairs. And there's those idiots up there. Just hanging out, always in the way. I don't mind that they have that option in the game. I just wish they would not spawn there. Spawn right next to you. <clears throat> and get in your way. Uh, where am I? So here we are. Uh, you can go in here. Okay. So we'll go on the inside. <clears throat> and we'll look at this. Shit. Okay, so. We have one, two, three, five. Oh, that's right. So you go like this, come back to me. Um, yeah, I don't know. Don't put it too high. <clears throat> this is something that I struggled with. And that was, I guess it doesn't look horrible for the foundation or for that last block, you know. All right, upside down stairs. We'll go on the inside here. And then, get my torch. <coughs> I like it so. Okay. We'll do a couple here and then we'll go on the outside and take a look. I'll show you guys what it looks like. This will give you some <clears throat> some more depth to the building. Oh, too high, duh. I was like, how did I get through there before? Okay. <clears throat> so since I gotta go make more anyways, let's go on the outside and look. So there you go. Gives you a little bit of depth. <clears throat> There'll be windows up above as well. And this is just kind of the first step of getting this thing set up. Uh, There'll be windows above and above. Like I said, the roof will come out. We'll do some different texture designs to add depth to this thing. Wrap the the uh, <clears throat> the wood logs here, we'll wrap them. But that just gives you an idea what we got going on. Do the same here. And <clears throat> go grab some more glass panes here. But this should come together pretty nice. Uh, we'll do some some windows in the hallway where there's not. I do not have enough. That is not gray wool or gray dye. <clears throughs> Thought I put the gray dye in here. Oh, I'll have to go get it off camera. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the next thing. Get some windows in, and then I'll bring the villagers over. So let me go get the more dye, and uh, I'll be back. All right, everyone, welcome back. So here we are. Um, got uh, got the windows in. And I changed the design a little bit. There's a big old tree for us to cut down in a minute. I went only one up on top, just kind of changed the design, uh, which I think will help make it look better. Add some more depth, a little variance. And again, we're just slowly getting this thing together, so it still doesn't look great. Um, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and do some more things off camera here. I think I'm going to, I've got a few different ideas. I'm going to make a bit of a change on the front from what I had originally planned, but 
I'm going to do a type of um, roof, a little entryway roof right here. Have it come out a little bit. Um, nothing super fancy, but just another thing to give it some depth. And then, <clears throat> then uh, I'm going to get the workstations going. I think probably before I build this, so we can just get them over here and see what it's going to look like. So let me get on building some workstations and getting those villagers over here. I'll be back. All right, everyone, welcome back. Let me show you what I've got so far. I've been working on this roof. Oh, a creeper spawned up there. Um, <clears throat> it's not done yet, but uh, we've made some gains. You can kind of see the general idea. I'm going to put windows in there where that creeper is. I don't know how many. I'm still debating if I want the whole thing with windows or not. <clears throat> this right here. I don't know if I want those logs in the middle. I'm not 100% sure. Probably not. Uh, let's go get the creeper. Oh, let's get the glass. <clears throat> we'll just take a look and see how the glass looks. Let me tell you something, the villagers, it gets annoying after a while when you're working next to them. But they do represent what I'm thinking sometimes, which is, hmm. Sometimes I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm like, hmm. I mean, gosh, that's just a lot of glass, but... Take a look here. It's probably too much glass. We need to figure out a way to shrink this down. Uh, do I have my silk touch? Yes. do have some ideas here so with these villagers being over here I guess because I put workstations up for all of them made the iron golem spawn because of that my iron farm does not work now you can see there's a golem right below it spawned over there so that kind of sucks So this is the center. So right there's the center. So what if we let's drop this down? We did something like this. See what I'm saying? Uh, uh. One, two. Let's just see. Ah, uh, I should have known better. that stuff down so you're the center I might continue these logs all the way down the center that one stays okay so it'll be log plank 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 you will be a log you will come out Log. Log. I did have an idea for this, but I kind of changed this as I started building it. 
<clears throat> the roof design. So that's a log. Can we reach that? Oh, got it. Cats like crazy over here. Oh, I was going in more. Huh. Sorry, messed that up. Let's fix that. You come out and you come out. So we're going log, log. Nope. We're going like this. Right? Ah, why do I keep doing that? Ooh, that's tiny. Let's go back one more. I think that'll look better. So, up one. Log. Log. Log and log. Yeah, I think that'll look better. Oh. Dang it. Yeah, that one needs to come out. Thought I messed up the center. Lost that one forever. Log. This is what makes building fun, right? I'm trying to figure it all out. Okay. Log, log, log. So the window would be like that big. Doesn't look bad. Let's fill that in up there. We're going to do the same with the ones on the side. Let's see how this looks. Oops. small window though but you're gonna have a roof on this uh, one two three four soak uh, look like birch for a second So this roof come like this, or ceiling, not roof.
I may pop some windows on the sides too. This is just the village breeding area. from the outside. Oh, there's going to be a tree right in the way. Dang it. Pretty small window in the grand scheme of the whole building, but um, could add some on the side. I don't know if I like that wood log going down. Need to bring the stairs out uh, one. Yeah. So I'll play around with it some more. We'll see what it ends up looking like. But I uh, just wanted to give you guys a brief little update of what's going on. Maybe we'll do like a square window above it. Take that oak log out of there. Take this out. Just leave the one. Take the rest of them out. Put the planks in and then put like a larger square window right here. A rectangle window. How many windows do I have? 13? Yeah, I'll mess around with that. Alright, well that's going to do it for this episode like some creepers just spawned so uh i am gonna take care of things and i'll see you in the next episode thanks for watching